Good morning, my dear students. I hope that you all are fine and safe. So let's start today doing answers of the exercises of chapter number six, feathered friend. So this chapter is there. You have to open your book and write all the answers. Uh, so first we start with the grammar and uses exercise number A. What you have to do in this? Underline the finite verbs in these sentences. Circle the non-finite verbs and also you have to say whether the non-finite verbs are in infinitive, present participle, past participle or change. First one is then. So we are going to start with the second one. So second one. Mira decided. Decided you have to underline this is finite verb. Two brackets you have to circle. This is infinitive. In Ganesh also you have to circle. This is past participle. Exercise number three. Practicing you have to circle. This is GM. Gay you have to underline. This is finite verb. And to succeed, you have to circle. This is infinitive in second sentence. Good. Now, fourth sentence decorated. This you have to circle. This is past participle. To prepare, you have to circle. This is infinitive. Then, number fifth enjoy. Enjoy, you have to underline this is finite verb. Eating, you have to circle this is gerund. Then, soaring, you have to circle this is past, sorry, present participle. Next, number six. Lights, you have to underline this is in finite verbs. To go, you have to circle this is infinitive. And reading, you have to circle this is present past. So these all things are I have given to you to just mark it and do it in your book. Next we are having complete these sentences by using the correct forms of the highlighted words. First is given already as an example. Second, they did not wish to make the neighbors suspicious. Third, you need to practice speaking clearly. Fourth, they hesitated to open the door. Fifth, Stop shouting. We don't want to wake people up. Sixth. Do you remember meeting him at the party last week? Seventh. The doctor said you must stop smoking immediately. Eighth. We have to get up early. Don't forget to set the alarm. Understanding the text. Question number one is What were the two things that made Swen's construction job more difficult? Does the text say whether the hard work was worth the trouble? Answer Swen's construction job was in space. The lack of gravity meant that the construction men would have to execute a skillful ballet mid space in order to get the girders in their right positions. Making such manoeuvres in a space suit was also a challenge for him. But the text suggests that the hard work was well worth the trouble. It was rather satisfying to lean back and admire the job they had so skillfully executed. Question number two. Which lines in para 4 and para 6 tell us that Claribel had adjusted well to space? So 
so answer clarible was well adjusted to the conditions of space as the author notes in para 4 by saying that she was not worried as most animals would have been by the the absence of gravity question number 3 now question number 3 A question is: Does this paragraph imply that Clarible was the first bird in space? Answer: Para seven seems to suggest that Clarible was indeed the first bird in space because otherwise Swen would already know the answer to how a bird would operate in a zero gravity condition. Question number three B. Why did Swen not get into any trouble for sneaking a bird on board the space station? Answer: Swen did not get into trouble because there is no rule that explicitly uh, explicitly forbids people from keeping pets in a space station. Swen had also been careful about not admitting. the ownership of the canary for several days question number 3 c sheer scientific curiosity was part of the reason why swen got clarible onto the space station based on your knowledge of life on space stations can you guess what the other reason was answer swen's sheer scientific curiosity was perhaps another reason that makes many people keep pets on earth this is the desire for companionship life in a space station is lonely one is isolated from friends and family and most of the recreational activities becomes impossible or difficult to execute in a space station in such a living condition the singing of a canary and bright chirpy presence can an even life of the astronauts so these are the questions till 3a now 4a question is that what was wrong with the air in the space station answer the portion of oxygen in the air inside the space station had reduced drastically below the optimum level this had led the speaker to feel rather dizzy and the canary to completely collapse question 4b how did clarible's unconscious state help the speaker understand what the problem was answer Clarible was a canary. Canaries are known for their sensitivity to the presence of toxic gases. Clarible's unconscious state and her revi- revival only when exposed to a shot of oxygen reminded the speaker of what he knew about canaries. He understood what the problem was. Question number 4C Other than Clarible's condition, what were the other clues the speaker put together to solve the mystery? Answer: Besides Clarible's condition, the other clues the speaker put together was remembering how he had slept badly, waking up rather tired. He had continued to feel sluggish till that point. he also remembered how canaries were carried by miners to warn them of toxic gas question number 5 it was one of those accidents that could not possibly happen what accident is the speaker referring to was the accident someone's fault who saved everyone from the accident so answer for this question The accident happened as a result of a rare ellipse at the space station cast by the earth's shadow. This led to the freezing of a part of the the air purifier. The single alarm in the circuit failed to go off. The accident was perhaps 
no one's fault because it was caused due to a natural phenomenon however not having set up the the second alarm circuit was one of the crew members fault the speaker marvels at the fact that a little bird saved them whereas an expensive chemical and electronic system failed to do so claribel the canary had saved everyone from the accident appreciating the text question number 1 the writer mentions two features of life in space that differ from life on earth read the story again and say what they are answer life in space is different from life on earth because night does not follow the day there and the station is permanently sunlit still to preserve routine the crew would use terms like day and night they would also take up 12 hours shifts because one needed little sleep in space in the absence of gravity crew members had to function with a different set of skills to carry out jobs like construction work question number 2 a what incident does the writer use to turn the value of money and technology upside down explain answer the writer is talking about the incident in which the canary was able to indicate oxygen level in the air being reduced dangerously their expensive equipment had failed to warn them about crisis question number 2b which two examples does the writer give to show us that what is considered weak on earth is a strong and valuable in space explain answer the writer talks about the swain's physique being wiry instead of bull like it helped him land a job in space such a physique would be considered frail or even unattractive on earth in space it enabled him to flip and execute skillful movements and manipulate floating girders gracefully claribel a small canary who might perhaps be treated trivially admits the deem of a mechanist word on earth assumed great significance by being the crew's happy and musical companion she also saved their lives through its natural scene sense of smell and did what expensive heavy weight machinery failed to do these all are the question and answers question number 3 you have to do by yourself question number 3 number a and b